Hello everyone, I am Jack from Melasta Battery. Today we will be talking about the grading system of lithium battery cells. Lithium-ion cell grading system measures quality by looking at factors like capacity, voltage stability, internal resistance, discharge curve performance, cycle life, and more. We'll go over all these factors in depth so that you can get a better idea of what makes for a high-quality battery pack or other device powered by lithium batteries. Some of the videos on YouTube are related to why not buy batteries from China. That video points out that Chinese-made battery cells can't hold a charge and have been known for exploding or leaking acid, often causing injury. Melasta has decided to make a video detailing avoiding buying lousy quality cells. Melasta is one of the leading providers of lithium-ion batteries. It is known worldwide for its high-energy, high-volume prowess in developing, producing, and packaging high-quality rechargeable lithium-ion battery cells and packs with over 12 years of experience. Let's move toward the topic lithium battery grading system. There are four types of battery cells that you'll find on the market, grade A, grade A-, grade B, and grade C. The production process for lithium batteries determines which type they will be designated as grade A, B, and C. If you want to know more in detail about this topic, it's essential to understand how these lithium batteries come into existence, which means understanding the manufacturing processes. Lithium-ion cell manufacturing process These are the 10 steps of the battery manufacturing process. Raw material testing, mixing, coating, calendaring, slitting, winding, assembling, capacity formation, aging, and the last one is sorting. We will find out the reasons for the change in cell grading and how different grade cells by using the same process, same raw materials. Incoming material testing Let's discuss how incoming raw material testing matters for the battery grading system. In a battery pack, consistency is essential, and all the cells must have the identical capacity and internal resistance. Melasta R&D teams run multiple tests to check the purity of the raw material. Incoming material purification of these raw materials has an enormous impact on the outcome for different grade cells using the same process and same raw materials. Raw material mixing The production process starts with raw materials mixing. Cathode and anode materials are mixed in different mixing grinders. It is challenging to get 100% uniformity every time they are mixed. If the uniformity does not reach the top level of mixing, it may cause problems in the coating process. Third step is coating it is a crucial step in the process of making battery cells. The coating material needs to be applied on both aluminum and copper foil. Positive materials are typically made out of aluminum and negative ones from copper. The coating must cover every inch of foil evenly to get the grade A quality cells. Fourth step is calendaring to ensure the most uniformity of material, calendaring is a vital finishing process. This technique ensures no clumps or unevenness on cathode and anode sheets and can be used for smoothing sheets and coating them with materials like plastic films. Sixth step is slitting and winding This is an important metal cutting process that yields larger sheets into narrower ones. This method splits wide coils of sheet metals by using circular blades to cut them down the center. The quality issues in cells are often caused due to this process if it's not handled with care, which means a high chance for problems like self-discharge and poor contact between electrode plates to happen more frequently. As positive and negative parts are aluminum and copper metals, the inappropriate cutting may cause sharp tips on the edges of the foil. While assembling, when we put a separator in between the positive foil and negative foil, there is a chance that these sharp tips damage the separator. These damaged tips are the main reason for the internal short circuit and self-discharging rate. Factories have the OCV machines as internal cell inspection to check this issue. At Melasta, we store cells for 30 days after finishing the whole production process to ensure that every cell has the same self-discharge rate, capacity, and voltage and none of the cells has an internal short circuit. This production process also ensures the safety of the battery. After finishing assembling of cell and putting it in the shell, the next step is electrolyte injection. Ideally, the injection must inject the same amount of the electrolyte into each battery cell to ensure the quality of the battery pack. Eighth step is capacity formation. Capacity formation means activating the battery cell to make it alive and chargeable. We separate the cells into different batches based on voltage and cell capacity in this process. There is no such hardcore rule for this standard. 
Factories can follow the customer's customized request to make the batch. This customized batching request is usually followed for bulk orders such as 100k pieces or more. All the cells get tested here at this step, and if some cells do not match the standards will be graded as grade B cells. And the cells which are not active or have shape issues will be regarded as grade C cells. Next steps are aging and sorting. Cells go through the aging and sorting process after the capacity formation. Mostly sorting is for internal resistance, cell appearance, size, and weight. Internal resistance is significant for the complete battery pack. While making the battery, it's vital to put all the cells together having the same voltage, capacity, and internal resistance to ensure the whole battery pack is discharging and charging at the same level to ensure the battery's safety and more cycle life. From the appearance, it is easy to judge how cells look and if it does not look like normal cells, they will go to grade B cells. This standard is based on the cell datasheet requirements. The aging duration is usually 30 days to check the internal resistance issue. After analyzing the production process, let's conclude the cell grading. Grade A cells. These are the best quality cells and have passed all the standard quality tests voltage, capacity, and internal resistance are according to standards. Grade A minor cells. When grade A cells stop for a longer time, it turns into grade A minor cells. Most of the time, grade A minus is considered grade B cells. There are the few criteria to discuss the grade B cells. If cell meet any of the following criteria it will be graded as grade B cell. Number 1. The self-discharge rate is exceeded, which is a risk. When cells have a higher self-discharge rate, the charging and discharging levels will not be the same. It affects the battery cycle life. Battery explosions are one of the main risks of unbalanced charging and discharging rate. Number 2. The cell's capacity is not according to the standard mentioned on the datasheet. Number 3. Internal resistance is more than the standard mentioned on the datasheet. Number 4. Variations in cell dimensions. Number 5. Variations in the weight of the cell. Number 6. The cell has been in the stock for too long time. These are the main reasons to identify the cell grade. It is hard identify why manufacturing companies put these cells into the grade B category. Well-known brands do not sell grade B cells directly to end customers, they will offer these cells to the trading companies or middleman in the open market without their branding label. There is another significant risk to buying the grade B cell from a middleman or a trading company because they cannot offer warranty. Finally, we will discuss grade C cells. To understand the grade C cells, you need to understand the batching system of the manufacturing company. Most of the factories do not have grade C levels. They only have grades A and grade B. If cells meet the standards, they are put into grade A, and if they don't, they go into grade B. Only few companies sell grade C level cells as grade B to middleman, which creates a high risk for the end customer. Grade C cells are considered as not working cell and need to be destroyed or recycled according to the industry standards. If you find our content is informative, consider pushing the like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe our channel, it really helps us to reach to more people. If you want to build a customized battery solution then feel free to contact us through email at info at melasta.com. Or leave the comment to this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next session.